What's up y'all? Welcome to today's video. Now before we can make a single cast, I have got to say thank you to all of you who watch the videos, who subscribe to the channel, and all of my channel members for supporting me because we have hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, this is awesome. It means so much to me. It's something I didn't know whether or not it was going to happen for me, honestly. Um, but a big goal of mine and we hit it y'all. So thank you so much because, um, you know, I put a lot of work in a lot of videos. I've done a lot of content, but without you hitting subscribe, hitting the like button and everything else to support me, it would not be possible. So thank you all so much. Now to celebrate this achievement, we are going to try to catch our first topwater bass of the year. It is April and I have not thrown a topwater lure yet. Um, I'm pretty sure we're post spawn now in almost all the ponds. Uh, most of the bass, I mean, I've definitely already seen them all on beds and then they're not on beds anymore. So I'm pretty sure they're all spawned out. Today will be interesting. It's overcast, which is great for topwater, but it did rain a lot last night and uh, that dirtied the water up, but also it brought in a little bit of a cold front. So it's only 55 degrees out here at about 10 a.m. in the morning. So we might bounce around a couple of spots, but if the top water ain't working, I'll throw a few other things just to try to catch some fish. But also I hadn't been out here in a minute. I mean, when was the last time I made a video, y'all? Two weeks ago or something like that? Crazy, been busy, but life's good. And I'm excited to get out here and do some fishing today. So fingers crossed, we about to catch some. Woo. All right, y'all. Well, it is a little cold out here and the wind is whipping. We've got up to like 20 mile an hour gusts. I am going with a bold move and I am not bringing my bag or my tripod with me as I walk around because I want to just be stay pretty mobile. Um, but we're going to start off with this little Whopper Plopper. It is a Whopper Plopper 75F. It's just like a smaller size, good for ponds. Um, and another reason I want something that moves a little faster the wind makes it hard to use a popper, which is my favorite top water, but also uh, I'm not sure if I have mono or fluorocarbon on here. I wanted to switch over to mono so I had floating line in case I wanted to throw top waters, but I don't know if I did it. So let's just get whipping this bad boy around and see if maybe we can catch a fish out here. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how cold it is with that wind. Maybe I can find some cover down here. Well, at least I uh, don't think I'll have to worry about snakes today too much. But let's see, let's see. Do not want to get snagged for sure. I'm throwing this little plopper on my Kistler shallow cranks and topwaters rod. First time I'm getting to use it for topwaters, but I'm loving my Kistler rods, y'all. Um, if you want to pick one up or check them out, I will have a link in the description of the video. Uh, you can use that, support me as a creator, and also support Kistler for helping me out. Ooh, hopefully there's some active fish out here today. Good Lord. Oh, that wind is something. All right. Well, we hit this whole bank. No luck. Tough fishing, honestly. Let's head back to the car and go to spot number two. All right, it's looking better already right here. I did bring all my rods and the tripod and my bag because this is probably gonna be the last spot that I get to hit before uh, lunchtime and then I'll have to go to work. So I might just commit to trying to catch like one fish here before we're done today, but we'll probably fish again tomorrow, see if we can catch some more fish. Whew, this spot gets so muddy after a rain, but we've got benches to put our gear on so it doesn't get wet. Okay, the the goal, the first goal is top water. So let's start with that little whopper flopper. Wind is definitely not as bad at this pond. Let's see if the fish are hungry though. Oh, a tree. Oh, 
Holy! Why was my drag so loose? Good bite. Oh, really stinking good bite. Man, that hurts. All right, but we can still learn something from that. I was right up on the bank, just kind of retrieving it, stopping it, retrieving it, and uh, he got on it, y'all. Right up on the bank, man. Down the bank we go. Oh, I can't believe I didn't catch that fish. It looked to be maybe three pounds. Oh, it's so muddy. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. all right. I made a comment earlier. I don't know if it made it in the video or not, but I said at least I don't have to worry about snakes with it being cold. However, look right there. You see that? What, what is that? Oh, 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 that's a big boy. Holy, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> I don't care if it's uh venomous or not i'm not really touching a snake guys i will with the fishing rod but i ain't getting that close to them although they don't freak me out like they do a lot of people oh, what is he? I feel like something all right well it is a new day out here to do some bass fishing um i'm gonna be honest with y'all be transparent this is day three of me filming this video and you're probably not going to see anything from day two because nothing exciting happened i did not get a bite um it was rough y'all and i'm having a tough time this year fishing's been rough at a lot of these uh urban spots a lot of the ponds and i'm kind of wondering if it's time to just hit the yak every time i need to get out on the river because i want to catch some fish y'all it's april in Texas and uh, I don't know what like I'm trying to analyze what's going on figure out like what is different and it kind of to me just feels like maybe overfishing or just the results of a super hot dry summer this past year but leave a comment let me know if y'all are having a tough time fishing this year as well or if you're just tearing them up maybe I just need to go hit some new spots maybe the spots that I've been hitting they've gotten a little too popular so we're actually trying a spot that I have not hit in a long, long time. I'm looking for things that are a little more, I don't know the word for it, just not like a park, uh, less accessible, harder to find type thing. So I'm gonna go try the spot out and hopefully we can catch some fish, y'all. All right. All right. The recent just heavy rain and flooding could be hurting me a little bit too. You never know. I mean, right here, that is not supposed to be a pond, but it is the home to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine geese and one duck. <laughs> so you got 10 waterfowl living in a puddle over there. And you got a pond down here. <sighs> Even though fishing's tough, thing is it's just such a nice time of year to get outside get outdoors, get some fresh air. Sorry, I'm staring at this puddle. I'm being a nerd. There's a there's a crawfish right there. Crawfish season. Maybe I need to get the trap out. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Seeing surface activity, but I actually haven't had a lot of luck fishing this spot before. Honestly, one of the only things I think I might have caught here is I caught a snake and this is the spot, the infamous uh, short video where the blue hair and flew through my line and got caught and stripped all the line off my reel. But we're gonna be optimistic. Go ahead, have that tripod set up for when I need to show y'all fish. Got to be super careful not to cast too far and hit these rocks because they're uh, they're lined. They're all secured with like chain link fence. If I get these treble hooks on that, I'm I mean I'm just losing a whopper plopper. No, 
Oh, I'm so dumb. Come on, man. Oh, got it. Whew. Walking up here on a narrow ledge. Get my wobble plopper. Oh, there's a fish. There we go, guys. There we go. He don't feel bad either. Stay down, stay down. Stay down, buddy. Come on, on the whopper plopper. Yes. Get him on the bank. Woo! Not a bad one at all. Come on. Look at that guy. Try to show y'all. Ate the whopper plopper. That's a good fish. I am not complaining about that. Didn't take too long. Oh my goodness. Whew, I'm excited. Man, I mean, I just kind of like laid it out for y'all. It ain't been easy lately. It ain't been easy. But getting that guy early today makes it a lot better for me. I've got hope to not only catch him on the water plopper, but maybe something else. So, Buddy is uh, probably around two pounds, maybe a little under. Let's get him back in the water. Dude, thank you so much. And whoop. Go on, go on. Yeah, you're fine. Wow. Right there. The little, little whopper plopper. <clears throat> Y'all, that is so exciting to catch them on that bad boy right there. River to sea whopper plopper, classic lure. This is kind of like the pond size, in my opinion. Uh, the 75F and kind of like a bone cream color. Oh, and on that shallow cranks and topwater rod from kistler the klx the shimano metanium dc got it done got it done you got to have good gear once you get that fish to bite if you're going to keep it on you got to have good gear and honestly i shouldn't have fluorocarbon line on this i need either mono or braid but we're working with what we got on and it worked i'm so pumped let's catch some more that was awesome that was awesome he was right where he should have been so there's a little ledge off of this big ledge that y'all can clearly see. See right here? Goes around the whole way about a foot off and then there's a drop off. And I'm just bringing the whopper plopper down that and uh, he annihilated it. He was in the shade too. I mean, everything about that was textbook. Whew, hopefully I don't hook anything too big up here, but Feel like I gotta give it a go. Ah, saw something hit it. and that's about all we can do here it's the downside of this spot is there's not a ton of fishable areas i feel like i've covered them all pretty good i had another spot in mind for this morning but yeah that's the bank i haven't fished but you got to fish from up on that ledge and i don't really want to do that so i'm just going to walk back to the car and we'll head to spot number two of the day all right <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> Probably not here. Nothing too big, but. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right. Yep. 
Yeah, the water level is definitely higher here than last time I fished, and it looks like they've dumped something into both sides of the pond. This side's always kind of greenish blue, but the other side is normally dirty. That side's kind of this bluish green tint to it as well. Hopefully that doesn't affect the fish. Oh man, I gotta get my fishing in while I can because uh, middle of May we'll be having a baby. So don't know how much time I'll be able to get out on the water after a little Levi's here, but right now I've got the green light to go do some fishing. So if I go MIA around that time, that's why. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. Got one on the whopper plopper. Awesome. Come on. I got a feeling they might like it in here. There we go. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Calm down. Calm down, bud. <clears throat> Not a big one. Kind of like what I was saying to that guy. But I will catch fish in here probably. So, nice little one. Get things started over here. All right, he was ready to go. <laughs> oh, so much fun. So much fun on the plopper. All right, well, this is the spot where I catch them out of the, the culverts. So, you gotta give that a go. It's kind of really the only reason I brought my uh, Texas rig. It's because I feel like there could be fish hiding in here. Maybe not today though. Okay. Ooh. Something hit it. Cool. Ooh, that was a good strike. Missed it though. So let's get back in there. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today, but that was an amazing day. I mean, we bounced back, we caught two topwater fish, got several, um, I don't wanna call them blow ups, but several bites on the whopper plopper. So that was absolutely awesome. But yeah, I think I need to get out on the river. Um, let me know what y'all wanna see. Leave a comment. Let me know. Do y'all wanna see? I could do all kinds of stuff, by the way. But I want to catch fish personally. So, like, man, if y'all wanna see catfish, catch clean cook, uh, just river bass fishing, kayak, small lake fishing, try some big lakes, maybe hit some coves up on a grapevine or Lake Worth or something like that. If that's what y'all wanna see, let me know and I will probably do it, maybe. Probably. But. With all that being said, thank you so much for the support. Again, I'm so just excited that we hit 10,000 subscribers. Got a lot going on. We hit that milestone. Having a baby next month. Um, a lot going on for me. So I am blessed. Cannot complain. Thank you for all the support you've given me. With all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.